He suggested earlier we needed to try ice cream mm -hmm. with olive oil. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. So let's do it. Here we have our ramekin. And let's let's put up a shot of everything we're going to try here. First of mm -hmm. all, this is haagen vanilla bean ice cream. I thought we'd do a nice basic flavor. Right, right. And so, vanilla bean is a great vanilla. And then, of course, we're going to... Um, this is my one-handed salt shaker that I use in the kitchen. It's battery powered. It's got a little button on the top. Yeah, that thing rocks. Also an Amazon find. Yep. Do I'll let you do your own salt. <laughs> now this uh, is uh, now something you can't see on camera is that Rango is also here because he's oh, yeah. convinced that anytime we have a snack, he has a snack. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. Aww. Now to compliment this, so without even with with no prompting, mm -hmm. Kevin, the most interesting man in the world sent us some of this olive oil. It's Spatico extra virgin olive oil from Greece. Oh, wow. That's pretty, that's pretty fancy. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Very nice what of him. What a generous, thoughtful gift. And here, right. let's crack it open for the first time. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. That that just opened <laughs> bottle of olive oil sound. Right. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Glug, well, glug, glug. I went to town. I don't yeah. know if you can see that, but. <laughs> Yours is nice and lubed. I really lubed it up. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of wondering what the benefit of the olive oil is, because I can't imagine it's necessarily flavor. He says it's really good olive oil. Well, no, I get that this one is really good olive oil, but on ice cream. Oh, what the point like, is. Does it just help to extra this whole exercise. It? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Do you want the lid? Uh, I, we'll I, yeah, we'll do it later. We'll, yeah. Okay. So I also want to mention that you maybe saw the fancy salt in there. It's fleur de sel, <laughs> which I think means flower of salt or something in mm. French. It is, my friend got, you know those world boxes? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Buddy of mine got one of those from France oh, one month. That's cool. He did like boxes of the world. And it was the best salt I've ever had. Now, oh, wow. I don't okay. use a lot of table salt. Mm -hmm. So I buy the good stuff. I hear right. you can vastly improve your cooking with two things. Mm -hmm. Good salt and good pepper. Yeah. So I use fleur de sel and that um, Indian tela cherry pepper. Oh, that's I'm nice. not hoity-toity. It takes me like <laughs> a year to go through that little uh -huh. round, not box. Canister. Canister that mm -hmm. you saw. And then after we do this, we're going to try the Mia Bella. This is the eight ounce bottle of balsamic <laughs> vinegar for 45 bucks or whatever it is. Right, on, that, that expensive one. That taught Mikey to always check the size of the thing <laughs> I'm buying. <laughs> yep. But it's so good. It's so good. It's so worth it. You know, I think it's funny that you go for that fancy French salt because I go for pink Himalayan salt. Yeah. Yeah. That's also So a good are one. we going to do just the olive oil first and then do the balsamic after? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. That sounds good to me. You want to do it? Yeah, I'm down. Here we go. Eating vanilla ice cream with olive oil and salt. We did talk mm. about how great it is to live in a world where we've discovered how salt can add to the <laughs> flavor of even sweet stuff. Right. Now, I saw a little, was that a grimace? Would you yeah. say it was a grimace? It might have been a little grimace. I don't know if I like the olive oil on it. <laughs> it sure does taste, doesn't it? Yeah. it? It has a taste. I'm trying to decide if it's a good taste. I need, I need another data point. Tastes too much like olives in the back of my mouth. I don't hate it, mm. but I don't know if I would actively choose to put olive oil on my ice cream. Oh, I just got a little flake of salt. The salt is nice. Mm -hmm. All right, Dane. Were you um, under the influence of anything <laughs> by any chance at well, the time you suggested this? I also want to know if there's a specific olive oil to use. Right. Yeah. Now, was he the one who I mean, said, we're using only the most quality sourced ingredients right, here. Right, but maybe it tastes too much like olive oil. Right. You know, maybe you need like less olive oil yeah. olive oil. Do we need like Kirkland Signature or Member's Mark? Yeah, right. Olive oil, Dane? Right. Do you want to try the balsamic too? I do. Now, when he first suggested right. it, was it just the olive oil that he suggested or did he suggest olive oil and balsamic? Olive oil and salt. Just that. And then okay. we went off on a tangent. Saying, I wonder how balsamic, because right. kind of balsamic and olive oil kind of go together in a Absolutely lot of stuff. Absolutely, they do. And I've actually had people recommend balsamic and ice cream before. And that one I can totally see. Let's get the product placement right for the camera. <laughs> right. Now look at this stuff. 
Look at that viscosity, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. You know, I have this really great blackberry balsamic that I got from uh, Branch and Vine at the farmer's market. Shake it too hard, yeah. Uh, and that, I think, would be fantastic This is going to be like of this. a ketchup bottle disaster. <laughs> Look, but, yeah. it, but it almost looks like chocolate syrup on it this It does. Thing. It does. Hershey's Hoomst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a non-balsamic bite once again. Okay, do it. Yeah, there is quite the uh, taste of olive yeah. in that olive oil, Kev. Yeah, I mean, the olive oil tastes amazing. I just wouldn't necessarily pair it with ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, Maybe I got... Dane, tell us what we did wrong. <laughs> I got a really nice whiff of the, olive, of the balsamic, and it's really nice. Yeah. Now, it looks like I've got some olive oil and some balsamic on my bite. Hmm. Okay. I definitely like it better with the balsamic than I did with with the olive oil. That's pretty good. The balsamic is almost so overpowering that it tastes like balsamic ice cream with a hint of vanilla. Right, right. I think it's great, though. You know what? Next time, we should definitely try it with my blackberry balsamic because it's a sweeter balsamic. Yeah. And I think that would be incredible on this. I'm going to hit it with more balsamic and salt. Yeah. You know what? I could use a little extra salt. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm asking you if you were under the influence of anything. <laughs> we're a couple of crackheads over here. <laughs> Meth. Not even once. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, come on. Crackheads couldn't afford this good of balsamic. <laughs> Too busy yeah, but somehow crack. they can afford meth. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. How do they do it? <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> I saw a meme the other day, you know, be as motivated as a meth head. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking for your next fix. Mm-hmm. Here we go. She, that was a lovely bite. And that was mostly balsamic and salt on my ice cream. Yeah, I have to say that unless we find a better olive oil to use. Yeah. I think I prefer balsamic on this ice cream. I would agree. Sorry, I would, Dane. <laughs> I would. I would break this out for a fancy dinner party. Mm-hmm. Not even make it optional. Right. Just drizzle it over the ice cream and bring it out. Oh, for sure. Oh, dang it. You probably want to say it's not chocolate syrup. Maybe. Yeah, like prepare. Here's the thing. I wouldn't make it optional, but I would prepare them. Yeah, tell them know? what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like sitting down at a dinner party. Having the host look at you like this, <laughs> asking them, what's in this? And they say, guess. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so you know. That's that's not at all how I do mine. I'm always very upfront about it. Don't get me wrong. I'll say it in the fanciest way possible so that it sounds like I put a lot of work into it. Mm-hmm. But you know. No. Yeah. Rocky Mountain Oysters. <laughs> okay, so the verdict is... Olive oil, yeah. Olive oil needs to be re-examined, I think. I'm open to it. I'm not totally turned off by it, but I think we need different olive oil for it. Or maybe a smaller amount. And the balsamic was fun. That was a fun the little... The balsamic I really liked. Tangy, like mm-hmm. balsamic is. Right. And savory with sweet experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we are, trying at the... <laughs> we could be at the fair eating scones, <laughs> but no, we're doing this stuff in our little lab here. <laughs> 